Welcome to the Armenia campaign for Dravidi et Impera 1.2.5 and in the last part we came down and we took the capital of Pokemon and what happened during the end turn this army supported by this single general pushed out and attacked and then I retreated and then we came back in again to attack them here and it's going to be an interesting battle I mean I've got two armies and I think the auto resolve says it's 76% I'd like to do better than that because I don't really want to wreck these armies completely. Of course, we've got another complication in that we've got a garrison army kind of come in, which is going to make it a bit tricky. So we're probably going to have to send these off the battlefield as soon as they arrive. Anyway, we might as well get in and wage war. I mean, we should have massive cav superiority. The Battle of Pergamon. Wait, we don't want to fight in the rain. Nice and dry, start deployment. Now, I need to find out where. Oh, can't tell where the reinforcements are going to come in from. That is going to be annoying because what's going to happen is they are going to come out at us. And I don't know which. So you're coming in from that side, you're coming in from that side. And one of them is going to be the uh, garrison. I think we're going to line up here. We're going to be a little bit exposed. I think we're going to be fine. Because they will come out at us. I certainly don't want to line up in the trees here find out that the army coming in there is going to be the garrison because that would be crazy I have you there what we're going to do is start in a slight box formation with the archers on this side and the heavy cab and light craft what I would like to do is take out their cavalry almost immediately. And then what we'll have is the general here. So we're going to be fight defensive to start with until we know which reinforcements are what. And then we can see if we can push in on them. So we're just going to wait and see. Our reinforcements have yes. arrived. Off the battlefield, please. Back, back. Withdraw. Right, so I would guess that those are the garrison. So I made a good decision here because this is going to be the the real army. You leave the battlefield. Back, man, back. Just get off the battlefield, please. Right there. Bring these in here. Bring these in. I mean, this general unit is damaged, so I don't really want to risk him. So you bring the horse archers in. Really got to start getting more horse archers into the armies. General, you form up there. Right, the AI is getting a little bit confused. What I would really like is to get. Actually, let's just move all the damage units 
out of the battle. You form up here. All the good units come over here with the general. What we got here? Heavy melee cav. Heavy melee cav. You hit the heavy melee cav for the moment. They're coming this way. Right, they seem to want to attack this army here. Skirmish. here. Yeah, the horse archers are really starting to earn their keep. This our units in. More cav pushing out this side. Our general is under attack. Yep, our general will be fine. Armored horse archer. Swift and accurate. Old artillery. Focus fire up here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Counter charge. You back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, my, one of my horse archers has taken a little bit more damage than it should have done. Noble spearmen, advance slingers over here. Yeah, you out the battle. I don't want to risk you. Maybe. The archers this side. Missile arm fighters. Start moving forward. One of our units has used all its ammunition. How are you doing? You over here, you over here. Actually, no, you start firing into those archers that way. Armored horse archers, you up here. 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. You ran this way. You this way. Round here. I don't think I need you anymore. You pull away. You step down. Go away. You, whoops. I don't remember getting a message that the general was dead. Get rid of this trash. Right, they're breaking completely now, so what I'm going to do is pull you away. You keep moving away. You're nearly out of ammunition. Where are you? You over here as well. You over here. Come into there. You went to there. Keep an eye on. Oi. You get over here. I know it's a bit like shooting fish in a barrel, but it's got to be done. Horse archers, I don't want to risk you anymore. General. Of those who's still firing, you can mount a charge into there. You come here, actually, armored horse archers after those. General out, disengage. You after those. So what I want to do is make sure all of these are going to be completely dead so that we don't have to chase the army. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You coming onto these. Get this cab in close. Provide supports. Bring the armored horse archers back so that they can mop up the opposition. We've got FDS 16. Come on. Kill them. Right. 
Right, let's disentangle some of these guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You come out. You no, don't need you. Um, we're going to end battle. We may have to mop up a little bit. But I think we've actually done the business. Yeah, they're both down. That's good. And we'll take the money. I don't think Pokemon's actually at war with anyone else. Um, well, they've all refurbished back to where they were before. Yeah, this is the one that's... So what we're going to do is merge you up into a single unit. I'm pretty sure you can't recruit here. Not anyone. What have we got? Um, Pikeman. 63 armor. Wow. That could be interesting. Although having one pike unit is probably not particularly that good. Um, we'll just see. Right, we've got this army here. This is now in a position to come down and strike here. Ready for battle. My inclination is to send I mean this army can come down as well, but my inclination is to send this army away because it'd be better off if they're away refurbishing because this area is very low on supplies. What we got here? You're a new general, so let's bring you down here. And I'm just going to encircle and bring you up in close support. Is that all, my lord? To victory! This is going to be 84%. I think 85%. I think we will go for a auto resolve here. That should give my new general some experience and a bit more. I'm just going to occupy Grand General. And we've now destroyed Pergamon. Again, I think I'm going to send this army away. Because it's going to need to rebuild as well. Um, again, can, you can't recruit. Cannot recruit. You can get pikemen here. I'd really like to try these pikemen out, but at the same time, this army is pretty well. I mean, I don't really want to replace these. I mean, these these have got a lot of capability with them. Uh, I always really hate giving up really ranking units here. I've also noticed that I'm actually duplicating a temple here, so. Actually, uh, no, just do that there. First thing I want to do is get that in there. We're building this here. Um, right, let's just see what we've got here. Well, we certainly don't want that. We've got food here. We want that. Public stadia. I think I want to keep that public order for the moment, so I think I am going to cancel that. And... I mean, that's going to give me that. And what we're going to do is delete that. And we've now got control of Etherus. This is a siege army, so I, would, I wouldn't want to put Pikeman into this army. because Simply because it's not really going to be effective. Anything else here, what we got here? Armenian Highlanders. Mm, interesting. Um, we got here. Oh, these are levies. They're not going to be much good for anything. Armenian javelinmen. Yep, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of javelins. See, these pikemen would be really great for a field army. 
I'm kind of wondering if I I mean you're right ten, you're seven ten, you're good. You're right seven. But you've got a bit of rank. Say I get rid of these two. Because I mean they're not they're not brilliant. So if I get rid of those, can we get in a couple of pike units? What we can do is have the pike units in the center. And then we can have the spearmen on the flanks then. Supporting them. Although this guy probably I think I'm inclined to, well, let me just have a check for armies. How many armies have I got? I've got one spare army. What I'll probably do is recruit a general here. And then made from these armies are put in, actually let's do it now. So I need a new general. Kind of, I want a family member here because this general's just going to be purely defensive. I actually really like your mask. Yeah, I think we're going to raise an army here. At your command. We give you that. And to get you started, we'll get, we've got nothing here. you got Massalian Singer Slingers. Actually, let's have a quick look. Yeah, we got mercenary slingers, two hundred and fifteen. Okay. Yeah, I think what we'll do is in the next. Yeah, back to here. We're going to need a couple of these. So we got Armenian Theros spears. I mean, they're fairly cheap. Yeah, I think we'll get a couple of. No. I can only get one, okay. Um, no, okay, you just stand there and recruit. Oh yeah, because I've recruited these, haven't I? Okay. And what we'll do is we'll transfer a couple of these slingers into this army and then we'll maybe bring in some other units from this army. Yeah, I think that will work. So we've got a bit of cash to spend. You're getting a bit negative. We've got plenty of food at the moment. In fact, Syria is probably a little bit over the top now. Still waiting for this to expand. Maybe it's time I need to go up level let's just have a quick look we got to tier three what are we gonna get here one unit wow that is a tank unit hundred armor well what makes this guy says discipline stamina hundred armor money attack weapons damage armor penetration wow all right swordsman they could be an interesting unit to have on the field, especially if it comes to a uh, siege army. Maybe it's time to start taking up our, one of our, our capital. I mean, we've got a pile of cash. Let's have a look. Okay, so what do we get here? Food, 900 wealth, 1300 wealth. So if we go for an allied capital, state of the king. Hmm, interesting. I mean, that's actually got more growth, but we don't need that much more growth. Uh, I think we're going to go with the allied capital, actually, to be honest. It, I know it seems contra contradictory, but... Mesopotamia... Well, we got 6,000 left to spend. Um, where are you? 
you're down here. Let me convert that. No, you're still a little bit on the frontier, aren't you? Let me just have a quick look through. You're, you're okay, you're Trushba. Let's have a look here. Uh, it might pay to take this up just to strengthen this border on this side. And at long last, we've actually got an intern. Oops, we've got a whole load of skills, sea dragons. I certainly want more empire maintenance here. In fact, we're going to double down with the empire maintenance here just to keep that as high as possible. Actually, what is the empire maintenance at the moment? 66.8, still very high, way too high for what I want. I think we're going to go economic here as well and go straight for this. I just want that research rate and empire maintenance because we're now at a size you can see where the empire maintenance makes a difference. And we've got the bearers of truth down here as well. Okay. You're more of a frontline general, so I think we're strengthening you up morale for units. Chance of wounding enemies. And I certainly have the campaign movement range. And at long last, we go for an intern. Okay, hidden agent exposed. Hidden agent exposed. Entrus for new royal rival. Entries the fourth new rival important character. That means we've now got somebody new in the family. You're over here. Can't get you married just yet. I mean, can you be adopted? Adopt. Kind of half inclined. Trouble is, it costs gravitas. And how much? And, and you've got 115 gravitas. How much have you got? 859. Do I want another politician in the family? The advantage is, if I get one of these in, then the family just keeps growing. <laughs> Actually, we haven't checked all of these various wives and that recently. No. Um, oh, we need to get you out with a mission so that you can start improving things. I think we'll send you to Arthia. Get you going. Really need some more members of the family in here. I think all these are maximum levels. Yeah, I think we will adopt you. The political intrigue. So you're now a member of the family. Let's check the politics. You're still unhappy. What's upsetting you? Government type. Pacifist, government type, minus eight, patriot. Yeah, and that's because we've got all these uh, Drassian armies in here. I think what we're going to do is bring Advance. you out here. Advance, uh, my lord. On the move, my lord. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you three of those. And uh, a couple of these. Make haste, men. Ready for and then battle. what I'm going to do is move you up to. Uh, I'm going to move you to out here first. Once. And then. Ready for further orders. So we're going to hire in these Rodian slingers. They're really good. 
can see there they've got a missile damage of 36, a range of 226, and ammunition of 23. And then what we'll do is we'll bring this army really needs uh, another spear unit. And again, I'm just going to send you up here. I'm going to pull this army. This is Hayek. I'm bring you back over here. What I'm doing is spreading the armies out so they can re refurbish. certainly would mind. Uh, I think you've had your day. And start bringing in some of these heavier units now. Give me a stronger front line. So that's you done. You're going to have to stay here for a little while to deal with. Ready for further orders. Right, you need a new unit here, but I think you can stay at 19 for the moment because you can't really recruit anything of any good here. So, um, you're the siege army, so really you need another chosen swordsman in here. Right, 9,000 to spend. I don't think. Let me see. Let's have a quick look through. Your artillery, um, your uh, garrison. You've got a garrison there. Um, Eventually, I will want to get rid of this in here. So, but you've got a military barracks here. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put in animal breeder. What, what's that? Gonna put cavalry recruitment in there and then eventually once we got this solid our uh, get rid of this recruitment capability and then yeah that, that will make sense we'll recruit cavalry here this will be our uh, infantry recruitment that eventually we'll get rid of this in the center from the perspective so we can make this more into an economic hub yeah i think that makes sense We've got this here, that growing. What have we got here? On our underground water, 300 to industry, that'll give me 12. That's actually marble, cancel that. I think marble might be better. Yeah, yeah, but nearly made a mistake there. Marble. I think for the short term, we'll put this in here because we've already got two buildings there. <laughs> um, we've got this army here. Again, you're really a defensive army. And I suppose in some ways we need to think a little bit about strategy because we've got these up here, Sinope, and we've got this here. My instinct is maybe to deal with Sinope next. I mean, who is Sinope at war with? And all we've got with them is a trade war. And the only... allies. Yeah, I think Sinop is the next target. Where's my agent? Actually, where are both my agents? Your job is to come over here. Your job is to get up here to here. 
because I want to find out where the armies of Nicodemia are. Actually, who are the Adrassians at war with? Rome, Athens, yeah. I mean, these could be an, a good enemy, but I would certainly would like to take out Sinope first. So to that ends is what we're going to be doing. At your command. Yep. Right, I think that's all we can do this turn. Just going to go for an end turn. Political intrigue. Consequences of <clears throat> okay. Political intrigue. Consequences of returns return to company with a famous bard increases public performance. Thank you. So we've got we've certainly got food under control. Not particularly that happy about the Adrassians are hanging around here. Ready for Just battle. Kind of thinking. At your command. I think what we're gonna do is just bring this command. army back Advance. temporarily. Stop any command. opportunism. Ready for order. At you once. come up to here. And what I want out of here is you, you, and you. And maybe one of you. March. And then what I want is you to start going this way. So what I want to do is rebuild this army as a really strong siege army. Your job is going to be just to hang around here and defend for the moment. You're short on units as well. But it'll be okay. Actually, can you... Ready for battle. Yeah, we're back already. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll get a single Rodian Slinger in here. That would be useful with a siege using their range capability. Yeah. Get you upgrade. Yeah, the, the range of Rodian uh, Slingers is really powerful when you're mounting a siege. Yep, I think that will work. And let's have a quick look through the Empire. Right, you've got, you've got a lot more wealth. I think we're that's gonna cost me nine thousand to go from tier to three, but that'll give me a bit more cash and more public order in Tushba. What's the public order now? Pretty good. Right, so that is the first choice. Don't need to worry about that. You're still building up. Iconia. I think maybe this might be the better option. Get this up to tier 3. And we can't do that now, so... Sure. We get a little bit more food, a bit more cash on this, and maybe we need to push this up. Because we're going to need that when we push out this way. And I think I've got enough time for one more end turn, so here we go. Trade agreement dissolved with Syracuse, and um, they've probably just been wiped out. Legion exposed. Roman army in Sicily. Yeah, so it looks like the Romans have. Yep. Yeah. Rome is expanding. In many ways, that's a good thing, because if Rome gets distracted with a war against Carthage, then that means they won't be coming east. I wouldn't mind another. Um, I think what we're going to do is just bring you up to here and you recruit. No, you can't really recruit anything just here. You're up to full strength. You, you wait there. 
You push through here. Your next command, my lord. I need this army to be able to refurbish and get ready to go. Ready for orders. You're nearly ready to go. Yeah. I think that army will be. You. We fight for you, you my need lord. to be a bit stronger. I don't think you'll be able to recruit anything here. We've got a couple of um, carrying axemen here. Armor 37. I mean, truthfully, I'd prefer the Chosen Swordsman. But we can't have elite armor units in every one. I mean, we could. I mean, these um, Corsican spearmen aren't too bad. Although. Got Pike. Actually, what I do need is another one of these. Our Lord and needs good fighters. Year four nine. Year seven thirteen. Sorry, you've got to. Well, keep you for the moment. What we might be able to do is put you into this army, My Lord. so that you've got a shield front line here, At and then command. what I have is. Um, Four spearmen, two pikemen. That would give me a formidable front line. But a lot of cav in this army there, so we could probably give this army a little bit of cav as well. Actually. Let's just do that while I'm That's thinking about on. it. Cancel that. How's the public orders growing here, so I think we can Advance. do this. Um Give you some cav so that we can get some. Actually, we'll give you two cav and the spears and you've got. And we'll give him these as well. I think this makes this a strong enough defensive army. I know I've effectively taken this army apart, but I think it will work. And we'll give you that unit there. And then that means I've got two pikemen and two spearmen to protect each flank. And then what we can do is get some horse archers and some more heavier cav in here. And then rebuild this army completely. Yeah, I think that would make sense. I think we'll just give you the upgrade as well. Alright, this general has a... Oh, no, the veteran has a promotion. Public order due to presence of foreign cultures. Oh. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. What we got here? Income. Harass, raid, army income from raiding. Yeah, I think that could be useful. Cunning, self-defense. Yep, I think we'll give have that. Well, from local industry. I think cunning and zeal will help better there. Yeah. Ready for battle. Yeah, I think there'll be a pretty good defensive army now. I think 14 should be enough. I mean, the, the main job, his main, this army's main job, once Pergamon has got a reasonable garrison, will be protecting Etherus. Although I do really need to think about getting this navy built up. So let's just have a quick look at What can we get in here? I mean I'm not going to have a very particularly very strong navy whether I like it or not. Let's just do two of these. The main role of this navy is just to be look intimidating. So I'm happy with this composition of this army. This army needs a complete rebuild. We could pick up another mercenary Rhodian slinger. We can bring that up to this army and then they can swap for a heavy archer. Yep, 
I think actually, can you recruit? Ready for orders. No, yep, yeah, so you're gonna have to wait for that to come. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting, and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>